Hi everyone, I'm Samir al-Masri. Let's talk about big data now. Big data is not only about the size of data. It is the size, the data increases exponentially. The global data in 2018 is about 33 zettabyte, equal to the global data in 2009 times 42. So it's a huge, massive increase every year. And the global data size will be 163 zettabyte in 2025. So that's really massive. That's really important to have a technology that can process this large amount of data in, in a fast way. The other aspect of big data actually is the type of data because the global structure data represent only 8%. Structure data means stored in a database. So structure data represents only 8%. Before big data capabilities, the, the traditional technologies can process only Structured data, that means 8% of the global data only. And we have 92% unstructured data. Unstructured data means they are data under the format of PDF, uh, images, uh, videos, and so on. Only big data capability can process structured and unstructured. The other aspect of big data is the speed of a processing. It can process this structured and unstructured large amount of data very fast. So that's the three Vs usually we talked about, uh, the, the volume of data, large volume of data, the um, velocity, the speed of uh, processing, and also the variety of data that means the structured and unstructured type of data. So that's about big data. Let's go and talk about now IoT, Internet of Things. The Internet of Things, it's very important because it connects IoT devices to the Internet. And let's have an idea about the number of connected machine. In 2015, we have about 5 billion machines connected to the Internet. The 5 mil billion machines are computers and uh, smart uh, devices. In 2020, we will have 50 billion machines connected to the Internet. Those machines could be your fridge, ordering cucumber from supermarket, or could be um, anything else, home, uh, cars, etc. But we have also heavy machine. This is where we, we have industrial Internet of Things. Heavy machine like jet engine, like power generator, like uh, plane, like uh, oil and gas compressors, like uh, oil and gas pumps uh, uh, underground, 15 kilometers underground. Uh, all those heavy machines, they produce a lot of data. So you can imagine that the, the volume of data will be, will be increased more and, and more. And this is where we need the capability of big data and also the analytics to help uh, conduct the analytics and adjust the direction of business or tune those machines. The expected uh, revenue by 2030 out of IoT, will, IoT and IIoT, Industrial Internet of Things, will be massive, will be uh, uh, about $17 trillion, the, the GDP of the United States. So that's really a huge. So investing in IoT is a great idea. Now let's go and talk about um, the blockchain. Blockchain is the latest technology player. Blockchain is different from the traditional technologies. It doesn't have a central server. A blockchain has a few advantages over the current technologies. 
Example is decentralized and distributed technologies. So we don't have one point of failure. It's a super secure technology because we have a redundant copy of the ledger of, of the database scattered around millions of computers around the world. So if the hackers they manage, if they can manage, but they can't, if they manage to hack into a couple of copies, we have still millions of copies safe. The availability is very high because it's not one central server. It's a, it's a million of computers, as I mentioned. So um, it will never slow down despite big number of access. It is immutable. So that means what we, we write into the blockchain no one can change, no one can remove. We can add something to the ledger, but we can't remove it or change it. So that makes blockchain the best technology now that can help you to come up with a new business model that can create disruption in the market.